Hey, this is Michael Kaplan from the New York Post, and I have a story that just ran in the paper, which is both tragic and heroic. It's a story about Soroka Medical Center. It's the hospital located 25 miles from the Gaza Strip, which is the closest hospital to that area where the terrorist attack came from. They had 700 people came into the hospital during the first 18 hours following the attack. And these guys are unbelievable. And they talked to me about what went on, what they saw, and the sort of horrors of it all. First of all, you know, the doctors are like racing to the hospital to be there as air raid sirens are going off and bombs are falling behind them. So instead of stopping to take cover and protect themselves, they just went there hoping to save the lives of others. And at the same time, they left behind wives, children, husbands, loved ones while they, you know, got to the hospital. And they really took their lives into their own hands. And once they got there, you know, the incoming were arriving via helicopter, via ambulance. Some people limped out to the nearby roads and some roads were not so nearby and just flagged down passing cars and got rides to the hospital and came in. The, the gentleman I spoke with, the CEO of the hospital, Dr. Shlomi Kodish, he told me that they normally would want to do these surgeries in their operating theater, but everything was so intense and so crazy and people needed so much assistance that they would just do it in what they call their ED, which is, you know, their emergency department, what we call the ER. It was, you know, madness. And they saw things that they never expected to see. He said that, you know, one horrible example, there was a pregnant lady who showed up, she had been shot in the stomach and, you know, her, her would be, you know, unborn baby died. And luckily they managed to save her life. They saw so much. And while they were doing this, they all knew that colleagues were missing, loved ones were missing, loved ones were killed. They were under the worst psychological pressure and they, they, they acted so heroically and worked so hard and so well to save their fellow countrymen. It just was horrible and heroic. And I felt honored to have gotten to speak with him. And let's just hope things get better.